First off, shout out Young Thug, man. Shout out Spider Free Thug. He finally free. You get what I'm saying? But before anything, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy M Dub, aka M Dub Deuce. And we back with another reaction video now. Y'all been loving them. Y'all been loving the reaction videos. You feel what I'm saying? So we're going to keep producing these reaction videos. I dropped it on my Instagram. Um, if y'all don't follow me though on Instagram, make sure y'all follow all my social medias at MWDeuce. But I basically said in December, starting December 1st, we will be dropping 25 reactions in the month of December. Just for y'all. For Christmas. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure y'all like, make sure y'all comment, make sure y'all subscribe, make sure y'all turn on all them post notifications. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure y'all send out the videos to y'all friends or anybody who y'all think would like these reaction videos. Um, I try to drop some knowledge. I try to drop some game. I try to drop information. You get what I'm saying? I'm not just on here just saying bullshit. You get me? I'm trying to make sure that we keep the culture rolling with positive energy, with genuine energy, and with real knowledge. You get what I'm saying? So... Make sure y'all like, make sure y'all comment, make sure y'all sub, man. I'm going to keep emphasizing it. Like, comment, subscribe. Now, today, my fault, my fault. <clears throat> anyway, now today, we got a special video. Today, we got EuroLeague Round 5 was epic. Y'all y'all fucked with the Round 4. You get what I'm saying? People still giving me their feedback on Round 4, so we're going we gonna to do the Round 5. So, before anything, you feel what I'm saying? We're going to change this shit up real quick. You know, and we're gonna get straight into this video. All right, let's get straight into it, man. Now this video is not that long, so we're gonna break it down a little bit. Feel me? If we see anybody we familiar with, or even if we don't see people we familiar with, you know, just so we can get acclimated and get familiar with them. Um, but we're gonna try to break down a little bit of this film. Um, so make sure y'all sub to Basket Dream Euro League Data Plug channel right now. As you can see, this video only got 300-some views, so people are not really hit to it. You feel what I'm saying? But we are. This is our plug channel. You get what I'm saying? So without any further ado, let's get straight into this video, man. Round 5 of EuroLeague basketball was uh -huh. exceptionally good. Yes, sir. Another portion of interesting... So this is Partizan and Virtus Bolag Bologna. Bologna? Bologna? Please tell me if I'm saying that wrong. Please let me know. I'm, I'm learning just like y'all, so if I'm saying it wrong tell me down below and also too everybody's favorite euro league team comment your favorite euro league team down in the comment section i want to hear everybody's favorite euro league team mine mine gotta be barcelona right now i'm just saying it just because you feel me i like how they play the game of basketball i know a couple people on the team so that's my favorite team right now but comment your favorite team down below in games brilliant performances and unexpected outcomes okay round started yeah. wednesday when partisan belgrade was hosting virtus bologna okay Sir virtus bologna there we go i knew he was gonna say it you get what i'm saying but i was trying to trying to have y'all interact with me just follow me one time that's all <laughs> still without Dwayne Washington started very strong. Okay. Tariq Jones taking leaders heap role in yeah. the team and Sterling Brown organized airily lead. Okay, but so this Tariq was Jones, evening of Will Sterling Clyburn Brown. who played his best game of the season. Who was that? Clyburn who was that? lead. But this was evening of Will Clyburn who played his Will best Cl game of okay. the season. Will Clyburn. Clyburn was unstoppable yeah. and in the clutch scored game winning hey. way up. Yeah. First win of the season for Virtus. Meanwhile, Partizan continues. Look at the score also. Like, I know I know in the NBA, they be having high scoring ass games sometimes. Sometimes the games be low scoring. Um, and even for the EuroLeague, even overseas, sometimes the scores be a little bit higher. Sometimes they hit the 100s. Sometimes they hit the 90s. But this game 69 to 68. So that lets you know one of two things. Either they weren't hitting shots or a lot of defense was being played. It was a lot of physicality. A lot of good defensive possessions both ways. You feel what I'm saying? Because this game barely got to, barely, <laughs> this game barely got to 70 points. You feel what I'm saying? So it has to be good defense or not making shots. Continues a season of up and downs. Yeah. In addition, team from Serbia lost Carly uh, Jones for 10 days period. I know y'all remember Carly Jones. I know y'all remember him. If anybody watched the Olympics, I know you remember Carly Jones. Is that a game winner? Yeah, that's sick. That's it. Oh, he stole it. Oh, you gotta make that for the win. You can't airball that. That was like a that was like a 2K type steal too. He threw it straight to you. 
Oh. Damn. Oh my gosh. This the one you got to hit. Nilakina, you got to make that, buddy. That one going to haunt him for a little bit. I ain't going to lie. That's fire, though. That's fire. Okay, now we got Zalgiris and Maccabi. I want to say, I want to see if I can say it right before before the commentator says it. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I'm trying to beat him to the punch. So we got Zalgiris and Maccabi. Tries is all on his own. Strings it from the point. Mm -hmm. Perfectly constructed. Whoa, zero. Next day, crazy. Zalgiris Countess continued Zalgiris. his winning streak okay. and secured second spot in the table. Yeah. But what a team basketball from Andrea Trinkiri. Best player by efficiency Trinkiri. rating was veteran Bryant Dunstan Ugh. with only 12 rating mm. points. Maccabi still fighting with injuries, player yeah. departures, and other problems. Uh -huh. Regarding the match, it was strong lead from the beginning yeah. from Lithuanian team with almost no chance for comeback. Mm. So Zalgiris is from Lithuania. Okay. Heard you, heard you, heard you. So we learning as we we learning as we going. Get me? We learning as we going. At the same time, Monaco was hosting Euroleague newcomer Paris Basketball. Okay, so Monaco and Paris. What a game by TJ Shorts. Absolutely dominant We've performance heard of TJ Shorts title before. of MVP of the round. Yeah. Paris playing really up-tempo basketball. Mm -hmm. And this style helping to have already two wins with some chances in lost games as well. Monaco still... So when they say up-tempo, they playing, they playing fast-paced. It's like the Pacers. It's a lot of teams overseas that want to get out and run. You get what I'm saying? When you get out and run, you get out and sprint the floor... It's easy layups, easy transition threes, easy buckets in general. You just got to make sure, like, as a team, you got to get back on defense when you have a team like that that's trying to push push the pace, push the tempo, everything like that. So it's not always easy guarding teams like that. Sometimes it's pretty hard because they want to run up and down the floor. You're not in shape, won't be able to last. Trying to put all pieces together, but for now, no reasons to worry mm -hmm. for Monagas Club. Sure. Uh, uh, that's a good pull up, TJ. That's a good Olympia pull up, Milano TJ. Lost again. Okay, so Milan and Ana Anadalu, Anadalu Ifis, I think. We're about to see what he say. Olympia Milano lost again. Olympia this Milano. time at home against FC uh, Istanbul. Team from Turkey starting to find rhythm in Europe. Say? This time at home against FC Istanbul. Ephes in Istanbul. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, heard you. Team from Turkey starting to find rhythm in Euroleague while Ettore Messina still struggling to build hey, strong team for Hey, get Georgia on that rim then. For visitors, very good team victory with hey. five players in double digits while Messina looks like very disappointed with Nenad hmm. Dimitrievic who was considered at starting playmaker of the team. In other games, Real Madrid had no problems with Cervena Zvezda. Mm. Serbian team lost Joe. Ew. Ew. They catching bodies out here, too, as y'all see. They going to attack the rim to go dunk some. They not going to get layups. I mean, the short guards, obviously, they want to finish at the rim however you can. If you could go get a layup, it's still two points. But they trying to go dunk some. Nenad Dimitrievic, who was considered at starting playmaker of the team. Yeah. In other games, Real Madrid had no problems with Cervena Zvezda. Hey! Serbian team lost Joel Bolomboy. And at the same time, Filip Petrushev not yet available. Uh -huh. So it was expected. So they got a lot of injuries. While Basconia has very strong performance against Alba Berlin at home. So a lot of teams, he, he basically breaking down, breaking down departures, he breaking down injuries, break, breaking down what teams have what, what teams are doing better, what teams are waiting for certain players to come back. So it's, it's a few injuries around yearly, but I mean... Around basketball in general, you're going to have your your players that get injured throughout games, throughout the seasons, um, that are waiting to come back and make an impact. So, These are some good games, At though. Friday, Fenerbahce was hosting Panathinaikos. Fener oh, damn, I didn't, damn, I didn't even get to pronounce them. Fenerbahce, he said Fenerbahce. Uh, Panathinaikos, I've, I've heard of Panathinaikos before. Let me see what he, let me see how he pronounced it. At Friday, Fenerbahce was hosting Fenerbahce. Panathinaikos, and Panathinaikos. what a match it was. Team yeah. of Ergen Adaman was oh. dominating during three quarters, Kendrick but nine. after Fener was able to make fantastic comeback mm -hmm. with help of Wade Baldwin and Tarek Biberovic. Uh -huh. But when it was looking like home victory, Kostas Lukas did it hey. again. 
that's why he is paid so high. Yes, sir. Despite maybe not the best statistics in the world, Slukas can just decide game results. Mm. And he did it again with few clutch three-pointers. We need to mention also Matthias Lessor, who was also good and looks like starting to find his uh. form. And few words about home team. Scalar Mays played his first game, but for mm. now, be it's difficult turned. to say if he will Look really at the crowd, to love, too. But also yellow team still having troubles in front court. Boban Marinovic not showing great basketball, so Fenner playing a lot of minutes with small lineup with Nicolo Melli as five. Hey. Looks like Fenner needs to replace some of big man with more strong player to have good season. Mm. Good bucket. See, this was a good game too. They're down one point with a minute left. Mm. That's a good shot. That's a great shot. Oh, he almost made that. In other games of the day, Bayern though. beat at home Olympiacos. Bayern Olympiacos. Another average game for Evan Fournier. Looks like Olympiacos now having no a lot Evan of problems Fournier's. in defense, hey. while offense at the same level compared to last season. Not sure if decision to let Isaiah Cannon go was right. And Bayern playing great basketball with very limited budget. Carson Gordon Edwards. Herbert is a great coach and great addition to EuroLeague. Yeah. Finally, Barcelona with some problems, but one against Asvel. French team looks really nice at the start of the season with another performance by Theo Maladon, but it was not Shabazz. enough to win at Palau Blaugrana. Shabazz. Y'all know, know these familiar names. Shabazz Napier. Doing what he was doing in college. French team looks really nice at the start of the season. Look at the scores of these with games, another performance too. By Theo Maladon, They're not hitting a hundred. But it was not enough to win at Palau Blaugrana. Mm. Ooh, he barely missed that too. Damn. See, but that's what I'm saying. Look at look how the physicality is. That phys that physicality a little bit different. They might call out a foul here. They might call out a foul here. They not calling it though. The ref, hey, play on. Especially when the game on the line, he got nine seconds left. Hmm. Getting eight out. Okay, so obviously I told y'all that was going to be a short video, so we're done with the video. If y'all enjoyed these kind of EuroLeague um, videos where they're showing the recaps of the rounds, make sure to comment below. Comment below your favorite team, also your favorite EuroLeague team. Um, that's it for this reaction, but obviously by the time you see this reaction, there's going to be another reaction dropping. So again, make sure y'all like, make sure y'all comment, make sure y'all subscribe. Let me know what y'all want to see more of, man. You feel me? You get what I'm saying? It's your boy M-Dub, aka M-Dub Deuce. And we out of here. I'm going to see y'all next reaction, man. Spider. Surfy.